Hello and welcome. In this fourth video I would like to explain the difference between PNPN and PN sensors. So basically in automation you can get PNP or NPN sensors. They do the same thing but it depends on a control system because some of the input cards they are just used for the NPN or PNP. So it's very good to understand the basic difference. So let me draw the wiring diagram so you can see how the current flows. Alright, so I will start with the PNP circuit first. So I'm using this Falstad circuit simulator. It's pretty good one for the simulation, you know, because you can draw the circuit and see how the current flows, the voltages, the currents and so on. So I will use this one, so let me insert the PNP transistor. The PNP transistor, you can see the difference between PNPN and NPN is the arrow. And if the point if the arrow is pointing to the base of the transistor, that means it's PNP, and if it's pointing out or from transistor, then it's NPN. Alright, so I will just insert some resistor to limit the current and let me insert the switch so basically this switch means this is gonna be the input from the sensor so I will draw it just as the switch but in reality it's gonna be output of the sensor now I will insert the, the power source so in automation we generally use 24 volt DC power source for controls so I will assign it as 24 volts but it doesn't make any sense you know for the logic Just, it's nice to see it. right we'll connect it all together and as the output I will use you know, the lamp and basically this lamp is gonna be the PLC input I will talk about it a little bit more in later on alright so this whole circuit so we can start the simulation and here you can see the current flows so let's switch the switch so right now the sensor is not reading, so it means the switch is off. So you see there is no current flowing through the transistor and the input is off. As soon as sensor start reading, the transistor switch switches and there is current flowing through the input. Now, as you can see, the positive from DC plus 24 volts goes to the emitter of transistor so the so the nice thing how to remember the difference between PNP and NPN is the PNP the first letter P means switching positive so in this case you can see there is positive from the C source it goes through transistor which is, which is switching it so it's switching positive and as you can see the negative goes to the input so the input is permanently wired to the negative but positive is being switched by transistor so now we can draw the MPN sensor all right so so as i said before so for the mpn the first letter n it means it's switching the negative so again you can imagine it if you look at the diagram the positive is permanently wired to the input and the transistor the npn transistor is switching the negative so you can see there goes the negative to the emitter of the transistor 
and if the input which means this is the sensor so that's maybe some induction sensor or whatever proximity sensor if it's switched on then it's switching the negative all right now example from the from the factory so let's say the you got some air cylinder and you usually need proximity sensors so you know the position of the valve of the cylinder if it's extended or retracted so let's say the manufacturer gives you this number so you go online and check the data sheet so if you look through the data sheet you can see the control output is P and P so it means the sensor is switching the positive the first letter is P alright so now let's let's say we're gonna use the Siemens PLC in the S7-1200 which is quite usual in these days especially in Europe so we'll download the manual and I will see the wiring diagram so there's different kind of PLCs basically based on if it's DC, AC, if there are relays the number of IOs but it doesn't really matter for us so I open this one for example it's 1211C and now as you can see so there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 inputs and then there is this 1M so it's some German word I think Masse so now as you can see this is configured or this is wired like PNP so those are PNP sensors so there is positive coming to the sensor so this switch is basically sensor for us and it's switching the positive so on other side on the PLC input there have to be negative so you get a current flow and the manual basically says the same for the sinking inputs connect the minus 2M <clears throat> so by sinking inputs they mean you're using the sourcing sensor which means PNP positive sourcing sensor if you wanna use the MPN sensors we have to change the wiring diagram we can modify the drawing and turn it other way around those are NPN sensors all those five or six sorry so the MPN sensors are switching the negative so as you can see there is a power source the negative goes to the sensor and if the sensor turns on it's sinking so it's called a sinking sensor and the positive it's permanently wired to the input to this 1M also you can imagine it like this so if we, if we draw the sensor so let's say this is the PNP sensor we got four wires coming in it's gonna be plus 24 volts DC the other one is gonna be 0 volt DC bottom one and the middle one is going to be output from the sensor now the inside of the sensor there's probably some logic behind it but you can imagine so PNP it's switching the positive so there's going to be some circuitry inside but it doesn't really matter for us because we can imagine just like the normal switch just like if you remember that, uh, that electrical drawing before so there's gonna be simple switch like this and only thing the sensor does is it's switching the positive plus 24 volt DC to the output so if you take the multimeter now and put the red probe on the output and black probe to a zero volt DC and the sensor is on there should be 24 volts so now if we take the P 
picture of this. Let's take a snap. It's there. Make it bigger. So I will delete all those. And I will wire output from the sensor to the input of the of the PLC. The first one, the input number zero. So you can see the output goes to the input number zero and basically this power source is the same one as powering this one. So you can say this 24 is this one and the zero volt DC is this one. So you can see the sensor is sourcing 24 volts and it goes to the PLC input and on this command there are zero volts so just current flow all right and that's it so hopefully you understand a little bit more because this makes sense to me and see you next time thanks for watching